Hello everyone. Um, the Mufti, Khaj Amin al-Husseini, which was a Nazi collaborator, he worked together with Hitler. His mission was to kill and prosecute and completely uh, cleanse the Middle East from all the Jews. Came one time to the Briskarav with an idea that maybe they should join forces Maybe they should work together. They become partners. Why is that? Because the Briskerav also was opposed to the Jewish state. He didn't believe that the Jewish state should come to an existence. And therefore, he came and he told him, we both have the same mission. I oppose the Jewish state. You oppose the Jewish state. Let's put, for let's join forces together and fight the Jewish people on that. The Briskerav looked at him in contempt and told him, you, you foolish, you and I have totally different reasons for their agenda. You do that because you hate the Jews and you want to kill them. I'm opposed to the Jewish state because I love the Jews and I want to save them from what I believe is not a good thing. Same stories with a little bit uh, different nuance was with the tzaddik from Yerushalayim, of Arya Levin, which also was approached by Arab leaders, and they told him to join forces together. And he told them, you don't understand. I oppose the goy part of those that are forming the Jewish state. You oppose the Jewish part of those that are forming the Jewish state. And therefore, we have nothing in common. When a sav comes to Yaakov Avinu in our parasha with 300 people to fight Yaakov Avinu, Yaakov prays to Hashem and asks him, Atzileni na miadachim miad esav, save me from my brother from Esav. The Bet Levi asks the question, why did he need to repeat miadachim miad esav? If he would say for my brother, I would know it's Esav, he didn't have another brother. So why did he say that twice? And the Bet Levi answers, that Yaakov Avinu prayed for two things. One is to be saved from Esav Arashad that comes to hurt him, that comes to kill him, that comes to fight him. Secondly, from the brother Esav, from the brotherly love, from the brotherly relationship. He doesn't want the good and the bad, the bad and the good. The good portion in this is as bad as the bad and could be even worse. Because being friendly with such a person would bring you down spiritually, would make you like him, would, con would be part of the same agenda of such a person in the world. And therefore, we need to be separated from such people for the good and for the bad. And therefore, says the Beta Levi, we can see that since Siman, since Maase Avot, Siman Lebanim, Chachamim tell us and the Ramban tells us that whatever the Avot Akdoshim went through, the same thing would happen to their descendants, to their children in the Galut. Same thing happened here. Throughout history, Esav was prosecuting Am Israel over and over and over again. But then at a certain point, just like Esav changed when he came to Yaakov and became friendly and wanted to walk with him, wanted to go with him, wanted to be part of him. And Yaakov Avinu denied it. He said, no, no, no. I have to go a different, uh, a different path with a different way of going. I go much slower. Same thing would happen in the history, in the future, says the Bet Levi, that Esav would eventually want to bring down Am Israel by being friendly, by being nice to them, by by joining force by being partner with them and therefore we see the same idea today there are those people that comes to join force with our worst enemies whether it is Neture Karta which is not a large part of people it's about a hundred people but they make a lot of Hilul Hashem throughout the whole world where you see this there are images all over Palestinian demonstrations and they're on the front line Mamash Hilul Hashem but even if you have different beliefs, different way of lives, but it doesn't mean that you can 
for that reason, go and join force with those that want to kill us. They want to kill them as well. If they could kill them, they would kill them as well, just like they want to kill every other Jew. That's all in the same uh, agenda, the, 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 the big plan. And therefore, when they do that, they're fighting Am Israel. They're not fighting a certain idea that Am Israel has. Same thing with those progressives that go uh, on demonstrating in different places like the, the Statue of Liberty and blocking Manhattan Bridge a couple of days ago and protesting together with the Palestinians. Why do they do that? They don't understand that by doing that, they not understand they might have a different thought of how the war should go. Maybe there should be a ceasefire. But even if you believe such a thing, going to demonstrate with those that want to kill Amisel, they want to kill Amisel, put hands together with them and fight Amisel and gives them strength in order to do that, that's something that's against the Torah. And that's what Yaakov Avinu was praying to Kadosh Baruch at least from that save me. It's better to be prosecuted by a Sav, but not to be together with him, friendly with him, with the same, with the same ways that they are conducting.